night. So I'm at a Walmart again, and this time I'm browsing the clearance aisle. And here we have some clearance items. They are all palettes that have cream products and powder products in the same palette, which is just stupid, really. It's just a good way to make a mess. But here's this thing that really bothers me. They all may want the clearance price. Clearance. 12 bucks. This, this one, a pan has fallen out. There was another one where it hadn't, and it was the same dang price. The Revlon ones. 10 bucks. So in Revlon, we have the Romantic Nudes, Seductive Smokies, and Berry in Love. Which, eh, the, color, the colors are pretty. Again, the packaging is stupid. And same with the Alme. I'm not as crazy about the colors in one of the Alme ones, in, in the one for light, medium skin tones. I'm actually quite light, but I prefer the colors in this darker one. But at any rate, it doesn't matter. I'm not buying any of it because 10 to $12 to me is not a clearance price on freaking drugstore brands. I'm a bit upset. Ha! Ah, acid rain! I've done a whole bunch of stuff planning on doing that pop of blue thing. But before, before I could actually edit and post it properly, I, I lost all my footage. And, but it started because I'd noticed all those all the pops of blue and then I started l swatching and comparing a bunch of blue colors but I returned this because it looked so hideous on me the way I did it however I have since learned new things so hmm maybe I'll mull that one over wet and wild paint palette this reminds me of some of the ones from um, Makeup Forever. Oh, those kind of odd colors. It's me. L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blushes for seven bucks. They seem decent, but the pans are the pans look more like eyeshadow pans. So, you know, if you want a seven dollar eyeshadow palette, here you go. And well, if it's eye safe, I don't even know. But yeah, just so you know, the pans are maybe a little bit smaller than the new Makeup Forever square eyeshadow pans. $7 Revlon blush in Hope Pink. Okay, L'Oreal True Match for seven bucks. Now that is a bargain if you are a cappuccino neutral, which I am not. It's kind of odd to me that so many of the darker shades are on clearance. Like we've got the Lumi cushion for seven bucks. The part of it that's really strange to me is that this town actually has a fairly sizable African-American population, so I don't understand why these are on clearance. Nourishing long wear makeup, seven bucks. Okay, we have a Revlon Color Stay quad for three bucks. That's starting to feel a little more like it. Wait a minute. Is this color a dupe for Soul? In the new Norvina palette? <sighs> no way. I've been kind of obsessed with that color since I've seen the since I've seen the promo shots and video, but I haven't bought it because well I don't have any money and it's not even in the store for me to test yet. So let's see. Huh, it looks different on camera than it does in person. Hang on. Okay. Super stay, better skin. I do, you know, the packaging is nice. I don't really like the label, but it peels off. It's not my shade, but if it were, that might be something I'd consider. That is Glade. Hmm, I on bush for five bucks. I don't need that one, but hey. Neutrogena. 
Mineral powder, five bucks. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Master camo, five bucks. Again, nothing I want, but... Sheer blush gel by Hard Candy. Three bucks. Not my tea, but hey. Color stay two and one. I never really understood this product, but hey. It's five bucks now, so someone in that shade might get lucky. Bunch of nail polishes. I'm up to my eyeballs in nail polishes. I don't need any of those. I'm going to think over the, uh, the Revlon eyeshadow because it's... It might, that one color might be a dupe for that soul color, which would make me very happy because I really wanted to try that. Another big bin. Oh, stuff. Tweezers. I've got tweezers up the eyeballs. Oh, another correct and change. Hey, it's not bad. Five bucks. Is that a green one? A couple of peachy ones. But I've already got stuff. I've already got stuff like that at home. There's one. One of those guys, which I never really understood that. It's like trying to tell you where to put it. <laughs> like, really, guys? Come on, let us have a little care, a little creativity. But hey, I suppose it's good for the noobs. Vivid liquid mats. Oh, boy. Let's see, any other treasures we're digging for? What is this? Cover Girl Vitalist. Healthy Glue Illuminator 450. No idea if that's a good deal or not. Elf. Elf, 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 elf. Ah, Dang it. Try to open it. Hang on. i got to pause this so I can use my hand. You know, I keep thinking that <laughs> when Elf does this type of packaging, <laughs> they're trying to bring to mind the NARS um, blush and bronzer duos. So... Here we go. It is not showing as bright on camera. Let me see if I can get it kind of in a shady spot to really show the color. This is bright. It's pretty. It's bright. The bronzer is dark. Let's see what. This is bronzed violet. I don't know why they call it that. It doesn't. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Aqua infused blush and bronzer color is so bright. I mean, it's gorgeous, but probably not for me. Let's see. Anything else? Look. Now, the Revlon quad. Okay, that is basic AF, but yeah, some lucky girl will get that for three bucks. Oh, hey, looky. Um, Maybelline color tattoo in leather. Not my color, but Three bucks. That's pretty nice. And the infallible powder eyeshadow. I have one in kind of a, a gray, a sparkle gray that I used for Halloween. This one's three fifty, so that's pretty decent. Again, not my color, but somebody will enjoy it. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the color Luminous. I'm I am confused because this does not look like blush to me. This looks like just face powder for white people. So I don't understand why anyone would use this in a blush, as a blush. Yeah. Maybelline eyeshadow, buck fifty. Let's see. There's the Rimmel lipstick for three bucks. I actually don't mind this. This is not my shade, but I did get it. On, I have gotten it on clearance a couple of times, and I rather like it. So that's how I wound up trying that Physician's Formula. Um, the colored concealer, the, the corrector, and the cushion, because I got it on clearance for four bucks. Okay, this is Teal is the Deal for a buck fifty. Hmm. I already have a teal eyeshadow. Is this matte or is this shimmer? I don't know. I should probably find out. Hard candy color correct stick in lavender. 250. Ooh. 
I picked up some. I picked up a couple of Smashbox ones at TJ Maxx for seven or eight bucks, and I love them. Um, I might be back for you later. Okay, we have a Maybelline lip gloss palette that is all dug into. Seven bucks and missing a pan. Uh, warm shimmers with, uh, well, yeah, the outer two are mattes, the inner two are shimmers. Warm colors for three bucks from CoverGirl. Let's see what else do we have here. Ow! Oh, well, it's probably broken anyway. Um, so these CoverGirl gloss balms for three bucks. Tempting, but I don't need any. I'm pretty good on the lippies. L'Oreal Colorish Lip Gloss. And I'm, I mean, lip gloss is okay, but it's not... I generally prefer something with better coverage because I've got issues. I've got this weird scar on my lip that I prefer to cover. Look at this! Flower Beauty! Black Vinyl. Seven bucks. I actually don't know enough about this to have an opinion one way or the other on whether that's a good deal. I've heard good things about Flower Beauty, but I've never actually experienced it myself. Revlon Color Stay. Not just nudes. Clearance, nine bucks. Again, I'm not quite sure how to feel about that. I'll have to look up the price, but either way, it doesn't feel like a steal to me. Am I also odd for not being excited about nine dollar Revlon Youth Fix Foundation? I mean, hey, I'm I love clearance. I don't even mind repressing something now and then if it's a steal, but nine bucks? Is it is it odd of me to not be excited about this? I don't actually know what the retail price of it is, but I'll probably insert it. 